still about five pounds of chicken here and it's a combination of things so I wanted to show you how versatile this recipe is and I'll be doing this indoor I know it's summertime it's hot you don't want to turn the oven on but you can do this outside on the grill as well you can do it in a pan or you can grill the chicken in the, into individual pieces it's totally up to you and what I have here like I said I have five pounds of chicken and I wanted to show you how versatile the recipe is I've got chicken wings I removed the tips, but the wing itself is there. I've got chicken leg with the back attached, and they're smaller chicken legs, so I, there was no need to cut them. Additionally, I've got chicken drumsticks, which are really big. I don't know what kind of chicken them thing come from, but it's massive. Anyhow, what I did was I gave those a bit of a cut because I want this to cook evenly. With the skin, I left it on, but I did trim off all of the fat that I could see. If you wanted to use chicken breasts, yeah, I'm sure it will work, but Ayman is a dark meat kind of guy, so that is why I'm using this. Chicken thighs, yes. Boneless chicken thighs, yes, you can. Just adjust the cook time later on. What we need to do, uh, and it's been cleaned and washed and everything else. I am from the Caribbean, so I wash my chicken. Totally up to you if you don't do that. Yo, that is your, you know, I can't, I can't fault you. That is how you grew up. But I did wash it with the juice of a lemon and cool water and I drained it and I pat it dry. So that is what we have here. We're going to create, and now I am I'm calling this loosely cilantro lime honey roasted chicken. But in reality, what I'm using is shadow benny. And shadow benny or culantro is similar to cilantro. And it is something that we reach for in the Caribbean. Now, if you don't have shadow benny, you can use cilantro. I guess across the pond, they call it coriander. Totally up to you. Three tablespoons of olive oil in my bowl. To that, I'm gonna add garlic and the full recipe. And that is crushed garlic. The full list of ingredients and everything else will be at caribbeanpod.com within the next 48 hours i am not doing caribbean sunshine so there's no scotch bonnet pepper going in there but i do have some pepper flakes that i'm adding i also want the zest of one lime quite a bit this is about three tablespoons of chopped chives and that is fresh out of my garden here is that shadow benny I was talking about and it's just been chopped finely if you want to learn more about shadow benny or as I said it's also called culantro you can head over to caribbeanpod.com I have an article that I wrote on there about it fresh ground black pepper I so much love using fresh ground black pepper versus the pre-crushed stuff. We'll need sea salt. And I'm going a bit heavy here with this salt because it's going to make up for seasoning the chicken. We've got lime juice. And to pull it all together, you need a sweetness. So you can use brown sugar, agave, whatever you like using. But I'm not going in with some nice raw honey. Any honey that you have on hand, no, not your significant other, actual honey made from bees. And all they're gonna do now is give that a good mix. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use three quarters of this in sort of seasoning and marinating the chicken. And we're gonna reserve about a quarter of it. So when it comes out of the oven later, we're gonna drizzle some more of this onto the chicken to give it that boom, boom. If you want a little ginger in there, you can hit a little ginger, but to hit him that final kick of lime, shadow benny. Some of you, you know I mean? Some of all using cilantro. So, and the, um, the honey, it's gonna give that a mixy mix. And it will only take about a minute or so for this to come together nicely. And what we need to do now is pour this over the chicken. Well, again, we're gonna reserve about a quarter of it, remember, right? Here we go. We're just pouring that on, and like I said, we're gonna reserve. I'm gonna reserve about a quarter of it to um, to drizzle on later when we um, when it comes out of the oven. Just gonna mix that around, flippity flip. 
get everything all nice and dressed up with this lovely shadow benny honey lime sort of dressing sort of seasoning that we have going on here now if you wanted to season the um the chicken with some black pepper and salt prior so if you know you use quite a bit of salt on your stuff i don't so this is why i just put the salt in the marinade but um this is going to go into the fridge now it's going to marinate and you know if you wanted to put this in a zipper bag i only did it in the roasting tray here one because i know i have an extra fridge where i have room that i can put this into and two this is the um the same roasting tray i'll be using but if you wanted to use a, a zipper bag to to marinate the chicken you can certainly do that yeah it's totally up to you but you're going to preheat your oven to uh, 375 degrees and you're going to slap this on the middle rack uncovered and let that go until everything is fully cooked when we take it I'm just going to continue doing this as I speak but the whole idea is to roast it off until it's fully cooked be mindful that um, with the honey that we added in the marinade here it may have the tendency to want to burn because of the sugar in the honey. Irie, it's been 40 minutes, 4-0, and I've already flipped it once. I'm just going to flip it over on the other side again uh, to the original side where we started off with, and then it's going to go back into the oven. This way I'm getting even color and cooking and everything else. What's up, soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm really trying to tell people the email address, then butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. I've flipped it a few times. The other thing I must mention is you may want to spin your roasting pan around in the oven as well too because I notice in my oven the left side tends to get darker faster um, you know and it is that simple all you would do now remember we reserved some of that lovely marinade that we started off with there all I'm going to do is drizzle on some of that like so just to give it that little fresh little herbal honey lime note at the end here Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you all in the kitchen with me. I do hope you all get an opportunity to give this one a try. So simple. And like I said, you can do it on the grill outside if you're worried about heating up your house. It is summertime after all. So you don't want to start the oven? Don't worry. You don't have to. Irene? Irene.